I'm Tony Hagen with Managed Healthcare Executive. Today, we're speaking with Tom Newcomer. He's head of Market Access US for Samsung BioEpis. We're speaking about Hadlima, an adalimumab biosimilar in low concentration and high concentration formula, which will be coming on the US market in uh, 2023. Um, no, the discussion of the, uh, no discussion of the adalimumab biosimilar arrival would be complete without mention of the interchangeable versus biosimilar issue. Um, uh, it seems that the Samsung BioEpis has made a decision to pursue interchangeable status for Hadlima. Could, could you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, definitely. I agree with you, Tony. Interchangeability is often brought up in, in many of our conversations. Um, yes, Samsung BioEpis is planning to pursue an interchangeable designation for Hadlima. Um, we would expect to have our data on interchangeability in 2024. So we feel very well positioned to meet the transitioning market uh, at that time. A recent survey of healthcare decision makers by Avizian note indicated that healthcare institutions seem to be preoccupied with uh, interchangeable status. Uh, it, it seems that uh, uh, they, they just feel that the interchangeable status raises the, the clinical standard of a biosimilar. Uh, can, can, you, uh, can you discuss that? Yeah, I, I did see the data that you're referring to the, with the Vizient survey. Um, I think, you know, it was maybe it's slightly more than 100 respondents, 120 respondents. Uh, I, I was able to take a look at that. And the one thing that kind of stuck out to me, Tony, definitely they listed interchangeability high. I think it was a, a top three as far as something they thought would be a factor. Um, but the other two also, curiously enough, um, involved pay, formulary. So the product on the drug formulary, and then the second one, I believe, was product cost. So when I look at all three of those and take interchangeability, product cost, product, whether it's on formulary, off formulary, that then is an access uh, attribute. So to me, if I look at how the respondents looked at that question, I think the question asked about what is important in the selection of an analibumab biosimilar. And if, if I was filling out that survey, and I'm sure many people did fill it out. If you're thinking about the actual selection of the product or dispensing of the product, then I can see where that ties in there at the top of the list. They all have to do really with, I think, the dispensing of the product. Okay. Um, so it's going to be a combination of factors that that uh, that uh, leads to the decisions. I, th I think definitely. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, the Vizian survey indicated something rather shocking, and that is that just 1% of respondents overall believe that the interchangeable designation is not important at all, uh, and 47% believe it is extremely important. So the FDA has, has told us that there is no clinical difference between an interchangeable biosimilar and a standard biosimilar. Um, do you think that the public is, uh, or the healthcare po uh, population is, is not well informed about uh, this as they as well informed as they should be. Yeah, I I can appreciate that question because I think it it's a great follow up to your last question with the Vizian data and the interchangeability. There was definitely a very high response rate, like you said, um, as far as the factor of interchangeability and the impact maybe on this class. But I I agree with you. The data from the FDA clearly states um, in this situation that. There really is not a clinical difference between a biosimilar and one that has the interchangeability designation. And we all know it's you know the same BLA at the beginning of the process. Um, in fact, some of my regulatory colleagues, I think, just uh, had a paper published in Biodrugs just in June on this topic. And it really went to the point of, is this about dispensing? of the product or is it about prescribing of the product? It, so it, it comes back to that. And that's how I think this question and the views of the answer really need to be looked at. Because if it's about the dispensing of the product, you can look at interchangeability in one specific way. If you look at it as how you actually prescribe the product or a physician prescribes a product, then it takes a, a different meaning. So I think that that comes into play with this. Um, we, we know that whether the interchangeability designation is there or not, it, it's the same biosimilar at this point in time. 